welcome to my channel. My name is Miranda and I am Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan and I'm here with another bullet journal spread in my happy notes. Before we get started, a few reminders. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you give me the thumbs up. Comment below. What was your favorite part of the plan with me this week? And last but not least, I extend the invitation for you to join me and the other Bellas. How do you become a part of Team Bella? You simply hit the red subscribe button below along with that gray notification bell and boom, boom, bam. That's right. You're a part of the team. So let's jump right in. So this was our um, spread last week. Um, I was not consistent on my doodles, but I just wanted to share that with you. I wasn't consistent on the doodles, but because I'm trying to get better and I have a um, exciting spread, or at least it's in my head right now, so hopefully I can articulate it to paper for the month of August. Um, there'll be some flowers involved. So just practicing a little bit on that. And of course, <laughs> Lettering, I do love the lettering. I should have just letter, kept on lettering if I didn't feel like doodling that day. But overall, I feel like my doodles and everything are getting better. So I I'm happy. I couldn't be happier. So this week, I'm bringing you something totally different, fresh and new. As you know, planning in the bullet journal and also my Happenichi totally ex inspires me to push myself to the limit and, you know, do as good as I possibly can. So this week is no different. I am bringing you some stickers for the bullet journal this week that will, once my shop reopens, will be available. So I found the most effective way for me to doodle and to bullet journal was to do the horizontal spread. So this week we're gonna have a horizontal spread. So what you'll see me using is a uh, script dates from my shop. I know it's a little raggedy. And then, y'all, I'm going with a rainbow circle doodle type situation. So what I thought is that I would use this circle for the date. Let's see. It's Monday, Tuesday. Okay. Yes, the circles for the date. Okay. Just like that, right? So I'm going to, and then for the line, instead of using the line that I've drawn out, I'm gonna be using these cute little rainbow lines. And they may, my vision is to have it a little, cause I'm gonna put the day of the week in there. Yes, that's exactly how I wanted it. So I'm gonna just use different color days of the week. They won't be foiled or anything. Let me grab my tweezers over here. And I'm going to put the day of the week in the circle. Or I could put my doodle in a circle. I think I'll put my doodle in a circle. That's cute. And then I have this whole entire area to practice my lettering, which this week, of course, is C. Last week was supposed to be C as I went back and looked, but I did B, so it'll be C this week. So again, a circle. And I'm gonna put it down a little further. And then we have you know, these remind me of just doodles, but I really, I hope you guys, um, I hope the camera is doing it justice and you can see this rainbow foil because this rainbow foil is everything. I don't know why this is not coming off the page, but we'll help, we'll help it along the way. All right, so we can turn it here. Yes, I am loving it. And if you'll notice, there's a little, I got a horror story to tell you guys. There is a little, um, the foil is not as, the application of the foil is not as great as I would like it. Um, it seems that when I attempted to foil something in my mink machine last week, it actually caught, I won't say fire, but it began the smoke and it does not work. Um, and I hate that, so I tried to see if, and I've seen tutorials of people using their laminators to create the same effect. And because I've had the opportunity to use both, here's what I will say. The mink does it better. And 
because this seems like it's a little bit textured and I don't want the texture, you know? So let's see, we'll go with pink for Wednesday. And I, this is the first time I tried script scripting or script letters for the shop or even for my own spreads, but I like it. Oh y'all, look at that rainbow. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, so we're gonna go with the purple next. Alrighty, so here we go. That's where the doodle will be. I'm so glad I thought about that. And here we go. Yes, the, the little man is being silly. Okay, I don't like how that one's going down. So we'll just go here. No rhyme or reason. It's supposed to look like it's scribbled on the page. So yeah, we can do... What can we do? Okay, we can do this uh, kind of orangey, corally light color, even though the rest of them are kind of primary. So, yeah. All right, so I'm not worried about that. So here's the opposite side of the page and we will do Friday. I should have made one for my note page but I didn't, so it's okay. But I, I, I am gonna go back in, I think, and um, let's see. Even if this doesn't go all the way to the end, I am cool with it. And we're gonna start over again. So, oh, we can't start over again. We have to probably reverse it. Let's do black. Here's a Monday. Yes. Oh, it's not Monday. <laughs> we can reverse it. I don't want to use black. This is Friday and I'm slow. Okay. Y'all, everybody has slow moments. Now, tell me about your favorite slow moment or a funny. Tell me about a funny slow moment that you've had because that was real slow right there. All right, Saturday and Sunday. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I think that I am going to go and of course, try to do a little something. This might've been too easy, too easy. Like on these, something else slow that I've done, I put Sunday before Saturday. I have them all on there, but it's not in order. Oh. I forgot I could have used my black. I mean, my purple. I do want to use purple. So we're going to bring this up. Let's see how it comes up. Come on. It's coming right up. Okay, cool. We'll put this back for Friday. And we're going to put purple on there for Friday. Beautiful. And we're gonna come back yellow and we're gonna do green for Sunday. Okay. 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 Let's put this back. So we wanna put Saturday as yellow. Yes. Yes, and let's do Sunday. Now I feel like um, based on this, I need to have at least two more so we can have a full one here and a full one here and then a notes here. Um, Sunday, green. But before we put that green there, let's pull this up. And y'all know I'm going to make me another one. I'll be right back. I'll quickly pause the video and I will make him cut me one more 
So I can make one long enough to go here, an extra one here, and an extra circle. All right, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and green. All right, give me a few minutes and I will be right back. All right, we are back and we will continue the process. So sometimes, you know, certain things are trial and error as this was a little bit trialish and errorish, <laughs> certainly. But what I have learned is that I just can push through it and I'm not perfect. And I'm not afraid to show people that I make mistakes. And I'm not even afraid to show people that sometimes I don't think things all the way through because this is something that I don't think I thought all the way through. Like, we need something here on the bottom here. Then I'm going to have to break out my um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do it like this. My scissors and just chop off the end part of this side. Like so. And I'm gonna hold this in my hand because um, on this side. So now the kit, now I've learned <laughs> that the kit will need to have multiple hmm this is kind of crooked so i'm gonna bring it back up so that i can maybe overlap this just a little bit and then i'm going to grab <clears throat> my eraser because remember i started out and there's a couple of little pencil marks certain places and we want to take those pencil marks out like up here there's a pencil mark and there, there's a pencil mark here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so here is our spread. Um, I will be putting my doodle here and then I'll be doing the letter C for the week. So uh, yeah, this is something new and different that I tried i don't know what to call it but i think it's pretty cool um the rainbow foil is definitely everything so i hope you enjoyed this simple yet practical spread and it certainly does and will fit my needs for bullet journaling as a reminder that is for doodling and lettering and we're coming along just fine um i will tell you that a challenge that i've encountered because i'm doing faux lettering I'm not learning the brush strokes. So something else that I, I think I will incorporate with my faux lettering is brush strokes. So maybe I'll finish the faux letters and then I'll do the brush strokes so that I can start to use my uh, brush pens. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, don't forget the three things, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, Bella.